What's up guys, my name is Doug. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. I'm really glad that you guys decided to tune in today as we're going to be listening to some new Travis Scott. Um, now, it's not a single from an upcoming album, I believe. This is actually for the motion picture Tenet by Christopher Nolan. I'm a huge fan of Christopher Nolan's uh, movies and I'm assuming that this is going to be just another really great uh, film to watch. I'm assuming it's going to have, you know, some kind of crazy mind-boggling concept to it, just like, you know, Inception or or a Memento or things like that. You know, he's just a really talented filmmaker. And uh, the fact that he chose Travis Scott to do the, the theme for it, well, um, you know, that that's just going to make it even more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, Travis Scott is just such a crazy, talented artist, and he's got such a trippy sound that, uh, you know, I think that Christopher Nolan's really going to um, use that sound to his benefit on this movie. So, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that this isn't going to be like the more conventional, really energetic trap song. I'm assuming this is going to be uh, very, you know, ethereal and spacey and kind of trippy and, and, and just very interesting to listen to. It's kind of going to set a tone for, for the actual feeling of the film. Uh, I'm not expecting this to, to bang or anything like that. I'm just really wanting to hear Travis Scott create some vibes and, and, and just, you know, showcase his talent. Cover art looks crazy dope. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to listen to this new Travis Scott track. So with that said, uh, I'm going to just jump right into it. And um, yeah, this is the plan. Whoa. This bass is crazy already. Wow. Last time I wrecked it, last time I went around, last time I did the whip is last time I'm back in myself, felt like hell, fuck I risked it, bitch yourself, I live in high burn. The little vocals in the background go crazy. This is so trippy. It's like I was expecting, you know? Hey, look at the synths. That bass thundering in the background is just so ominous, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. So, like I was expecting, you know, I'm so glad that this is actually what we got. I was seeing some really mixed opinions about this track on Twitter, and I can totally understand why. For the people that were expecting this to be like a, a conventional kind of number one hit from Travis Scott, uh, like a really poppy kind of, you know, catchy track, um, they, they probably were disappointed by this. But for the people that went into it thinking what I did, basically, they were very pleased, you know, because this is for a motion picture. By Christopher Nolan. It's, it's got to sound trippy. It's got to sound epic and cinematic. It's got to sound deep and like compelling and, and, and ominous and scary. And, and it's, it's got to have that atmosphere to it. It's going to be more like a, like a very atmospheric tone setting track. This would probably be like an interlude off of a more uh, traditional, you know, project by Travis Scott. And that's exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting this to be atmospheric and setting a tone. Uh, and that's exactly what it does. Like the, the bass rolling in the background is just so crazy the way that they processed his vocals to sound like it's surrounding us and it, it sounds like it's kind of robotic and the other portions the, the vocals sound very intimate and up close to you uh, and right in your face they bring in those really interesting like string synths towards the end and play us out with that really like ominous rolling bass in the background uh, it's, it's just a very awesome in, in the traditional sense of the word it, it, it leaves you in awe of how like grandiose it is and how, how I don't know, the, just the scale of this track, you know, just the the fact that it's for a movie, the fact that it, it's, it's got like Inception vibes, you know, the Inception soundtrack, the, the really loud like, Boo! it's just like super scary, you don't know what it is or what it means or how it's going to fit into the context of the film, just the, that that scale to this is, is almost got the same feeling to it, so I like this a lot. Uh, I like the atmosphere that, that that Christopher Nolan is setting and Travis Scott is setting with this track. Um, I, I can't wait to watch this movie. You know, he's he's such a talented director and, and Travis Scott is just such an awesome artist. I'm hoping that Travis Scott, you know, does like a soundtrack for the film. That would be crazy. Kind of like a Kendrick Lamar. He doesn't have to do the entire soundtrack, but kind of like curate the soundtrack, you know. Uh, like the way that Kendrick Lamar and TDE did for uh, Black Panther. That would be so crazy. But, you know, we'll see. But yeah, I like this track. I like it a lot. 
Uh, and, and I think that that's just because I, I knew what to expect kind of going into it. I went into it with the right mindset. So if you haven't heard this yet, uh, definitely go into it with the mindset that this is for a movie and it's about, you know, tone setting and creating the atmosphere for the movie. It's not going to be a catchy single that you're going to come back to a bunch of times. This is definitely to, to create, you know, an, a, a very different kind of ambience and, and, and vibe. So, yeah. Uh, have that in mind and, and give this a, a shot, you know, and maybe if you heard it and you didn't like it, go back to it with that mindset and you might enjoy it a little more. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, I'll be back in another video very soon. Until then, stay safe. Peace out.